Señores. Señoritas. Señores. Ma. Ma. Muchos besos. Muchos besos. Bienvenido. Bienvenido. Buenos días. Buenas tardes. Buenas noches. My name is Jonathan Austin. Feliz Cinco de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Hoy, today, we celebrate the culture and the country that is Mexico. Allow me to see and read you a book, a classic in literature. Do you know what a classic is? One that's been read for generations and rightfully so. With that, let's waste no more time. The story of Ferdinand by Monroe Leaf. Let's hop to it. It's a happy story, Phyllis. The story of Ferdinand. Once upon a time in Spain, a beautiful country. There was a little bull and his name was Ferdinand. All the other little bulls he lived with would run and jump and butt their heads together. But not Ferdinand. He liked to just sit quietly and smell the flowers. Sounds like a wonderful idea. He had a favorite spot out in the pasture under a cork tree. It was his favorite tree and he would sit in its shade all day and smell the flowers. Why don't you run and play with the other little bulls and skip and butt your head, she would say. But Ferdinand would shake his head. I like it better here where I can just sit quietly and smell the flowers. His mother saw that he was not lonesome and because she was an understanding mother, even though she was just a cow, she let him just sit there and be happy. As the years went by, Ferdinand grew and grew until he was very big and strong. All the other bulls who had grown up with him in the same pasture would fight each other all day. They would butt each other and stick each other with their horns. What they wanted most of all was to be picked to fight at the bullfights in Madrid. But not Ferdinand. He still liked to just sit there under the cork tree and smell the flowers. One day, five men came in, very funny hats, to pick the biggest, fastest, roughest bola to fight in the bullfights in Madrid. All the other bulls ran around snorting and budding, leaping and jumping. So the men would think they were very, very strong and fierce and pick them. Ferdinand knew they would not pick him 
and he didn't care. So he went out to his favorite cork tree to sit down. He didn't look where he was sitting, and instead of sitting on the nice cool grass in the shade, he sat on a bumblebee. Well, if you were a bumblebee and a bull sat on you, what would you do? You would sting him. And that is just what this bee did to Ferdinand. Wow, did it hurt? Ferdinand jumped up with a snort. He ran around puffing and snorting, butting and pawing the ground as if he were crazy, loco. The five men saw him and they all shouted with joy. Here was the largest and fiercest bull of all. Just the one for the bullfights in Madrid. So they took him away in a cart. What a day it was. Flags were flying. Bands were playing. And all the lovely ladies had flowers in their hair. Ferdinand likes flowers. They had a parade into the bowling. First came the banda Ranieros with long, sharp pins. <laughs> Next came the Picadores who rode skinny horses. Then came the Matador, the proudest of all. He thought he was very handsome and bowed to the ladies. He had a red cape and was ready to go. Then came the bull. And you know who that bull was. Ferdinand! They called him Ferdinand the Fierce. And the Banda Ranieros were afraid of him. And the Picadores were afraid of him. And the Matador was scared stiff. Ferdinand ran into the middle of the ring and everyone shouted and clapped because they thought they were going to see a sight to see. But not Ferdinand. When he got to the middle of the ring, he saw the flowers, flores in all the lovely lady's hair, and he just sat down quietly and smelled the flowers. He wouldn't fight and be fierce no matter what they did. He just sat and smelled the flowers. Everyone was so mad. But Ferdinand, he did not care. He just stopped and smelled the flowers. So they had to take Ferdinand home.
And for all I know, he is sitting there still under his favorite cork tree, smelling the flowers quietly. He is very happy. The end. I think that's a wonderful story right there about Ferdinand, Feliz Cinco de Mayo, hasta pronto, till we meet again. Adios, amigos. <laughs>